Hey guys, today we're just going to do some inspecting on this electric uh, Ozito lawnmower that I bought probably, oh, probably a couple years back, probably two years ago now. So um, basically we're just going to be doing a vlog, I'll be talking a little bit, we'll do an inspection on it, see how it's fed up over the couple of years. We'll check the blades as well, make sure they're not dull or blunt and yeah, we'll just go from there. So. This is the Azito um, lawnmower. It's an electric one, so it's a, it's a small mower. It's a 305 millimeter cutting, 1200 watt uh, electric motor, 96 decibel of sound. So I normally just wear ear protections or, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? The AirPods with the noise cancellation normally helps. Um, the catchment, I think, is full. I don't have a big space to lawnmower at the moment. So, uh, yeah, this one was ideal for what we needed. We don't have a huge property. So, um, anyway, guys, so we'll just go through the warning labels here. So, um, obviously, don't push it uphill. Don't put your hand in the blades when it's running, obviously. Wear air protection. Um, don't have people standing next to you while you're lawn mowing. Um, what would oh, we've got this thermal overload protection here? So, uh, if you guys want to pause and read it, I'll try to get it to to focus. Okay. So to operate this machine, what we do is we'd obviously have it plugged into a power point with an extension lead. You got to press that down and pull that back. And see how the button's down. Uh, so that means you'll be good to use. Once you let go, the button will pop up. And that's like the kill switch, as well as to stop it. So see how if I press the lever, the button does go down. So you won't be able to operate it. Once I click it down and hold it at the same time, you'll be able to use it. So it's been sitting in the sun for a little while. See, so the decals on it are fading a little bit. It still works 100% well. That's the thing, I don't know about 100%. Um, I think sometimes it pulls the grass a little bit when I'm cutting, so it's possible it might need some new blades. That's why I've made this video as well, just to check it out. The catchment will need to be emptied, so I'll show you how much it holds. It doesn't hold a huge amount, to be honest. As I said, it's just a small mower, cheap one. I think I pay like $120 for it. Yeah, so we've got the catchment full. I'll empty it, and then we'll tip it on its side. We'll check it out. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys. So basically, uh, we'll flip it onto its side. We'll have a look underneath, see what's uh, what's the go. And um, yeah, so I'll grab the lawnmower. I'll bring you guys with me and we'll have a look. Okay, guys. So it's just on the side here, as you can see. Uh, this, as I said, this machine's probably about two years old. It is fairly good, Nick. We're looking at the blades here, so we can see it is looking blunt, I think. Um, yeah, it does look blunt. I'm not, I'll have to see if we can get a blade on it, and maybe in the next video I could show you how to replace it. Um, we've got some rope, some type of rope material stuck around this shaft. Um, before anyone is worried, yes, it is disconnected. Power plugs there, so I'm not going to get my hand bloody uh cut off or anything like that by mistake so we'll grab this it's probably better off just taking the bolt off i think um but yeah i think it needs a new blade so we'll have to research where the blades from the arrow is obviously the direction of travel where the blade will be going so it's obviously spinning in that direction when you're cutting the lawn i can see yeah yeah it is blunt but look it's two years old so it's probably used once every week or two, depending in summertime or winter time. So it looks like it's got some weights at the front as well. Two weights. I, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, it looks like they're weights to me. The plastic caster wheels I seem okay. Um, not damaged or anything. There's no... Oh, is that a crack? No, it's just a manufacturing... Oh, could be a little crack there, actually. Maybe it's just part of the manufacturing process. There's no other visual damage on the body. It's all still relatively new looking. It is a bit dusty though, but um, this here, so this spring, 
is the, the height adjustment, so I keep it in the middle notch. Obviously, if you want to change it, you just pull this rod forward. I think it was. Yeah, it is to pull it forward. Might have to flip it on its, uh, yeah, like that. So, yeah, there we go, pull it forward. Pull that one forward as well, hopefully. If that's right. Yeah, so let's lock it in place and that will be on its lower setting, the lower um, lower cut. I like it in the middle because I find um, if I have it on that height, it does, likes to sculpt the grass. It feels like, um, you know, it's actually damaging the grass. So um, yeah, it's pretty cool how it's electric. Um, as I said, we don't have the biggest of properties. So um, this was quite a good size for what I needed. I'll flip it back on its uh, onto its wheels. We'll take the catch off. We'll see what it looks like inside. All right. So just got a bunch of. Oops, sorry about the camera, guys. 2021, the date. So 2021 fifth. So I'm guessing that's 2021 May. So yeah, all right, 21, 22, 23. Oh, it's two and a half years old, so it is older than I thought. Oh, I just had two years, didn't I? Yeah, two years or so. So, obviously, the grass clippings would go through there into its catchment. Um, I did just empty it though. So, what else is there to look at this machine? I think that's pretty much it. The back wheels look okay, there's no cracks, no visible, uh, visible uh, chunks missing out. No, I think it looks good. So, yeah, there is a couple of issues with this machine that I don't like. So uh, I'll show you, I'll go through that now. Okay, the first issue with this machine, obviously you need a power source. So being electric, it needs to be plugged into the, the mains power. But <laughs> the worst issue, again, it's to be expected because it is electric. The worst issue with this machine, I really... I wouldn't say despise, I mean, it's not the machine's fault, but having the extension and cable, it is a pain. So you've got this cable carrier slash holder thing. So you can put some of the cable on here, but if you're not careful, you'll cut the cable. So uh, I've had that. I did it one time when I first got this. I was not paying attention, had the cable across the lawn, and then... <clears throat> And that was it. And I was like, what the? I thought this just, you know, kaput itself, finished for some reason. No, the cable was just cut in half. So luckily the house uh, RCD switch worked because it cut the power off to that section of the property. So um, there was no power on that side of the house where the the power supply I was using. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I gotta be ultra careful in the future cutting grass. So um, that was, yeah, it's just one of those things, you know? So another thing as well is uh, we've got a petrol powered um, like leaf blower, you know, like um, to blow off your driveway and all that stuff to get sand. It's extremely windy where we are like 90% of the time and the sand just blows everywhere. It's like it's so, uh, so annoying. Oh, sorry about that, just had to move. So I'm thinking about, I've run out of fuel for it. I don't, my jerry can is empty. I've got a two-stroke specific jerry can, which is the green can. Obviously, put your oil, you know, fix, 50 mixture or whatever it is. The fuel that's in the machine, that's all I have left. Um, so I'm thinking it's possible once it's run out of fuel, which is probably in the next use or so, I'll probably just get an electric one. Um, I just find the electric ones are just less maintenance, you know. Um, Again, I, I'm getting new to this type of thing, but I think this lawnmower doesn't even use oil because it's just got a brush, a brush motor, the watt motor, so there's no oil changes required. Now, if you're on a big property, big farm, or big acreage yard, yeah, probably petrol would be the way to go. Um, obviously, with more power, bigger area, yeah. But for small to medium-sized lawns, houses, and suburban areas, I think the electric's fine. People a bit... Yeah, it's electric. Yeah, it's like with you know electric cars, people are still a bit 
Yeah, what if the battery blows? What is this? And blah, 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 blah. We live once, we just gotta give things a try. If it works out, works out, doesn't it doesn't. We move on to the next venture. Um, so I, that's why I went with the uh, the electric mower. You know, it, it's doing the job fine. There's no problems at all. Actually, to change the subject for a sec, I'm just using my tripod I bought from Target. Um, if you guys are watching in America, I believe Target is separate, like it's a separate business, but I think Target over there is not doing well with it Kmart. I think Kmart and Sears, going a bit off topic here, but um, I'll show you the new tripod I bought for just filming as well. So this is the new tripod, fairly cheap. Um, as I said, I paid like $6 for it. It's got a little level, like a little level here, tells me, uh, well, the phone has like a level thing anyway, but it's good to have that. I can use, adjust it with the handle, so see that? How the bubble moves. So it's pretty cool. Again, it's just a cheap, cheap tripod. I was just using it just then with the face view that I was, when I was talking. Um, but yeah, that's just something for now. I will get a better one in the future, but I've only just bought this one this week. So uh, yeah, it seems okay. I wish it could go a little higher, but that's its full height there. So um, we can measure it, see what the height is. So we're touching the ground there, height is what, the phone would sit just above where my finger is, so it's just over a metre tall or three foot, three and a half foot feet high. So I suppose it is high enough. But yeah, back to the mower. So I'll put the catchment back on and um, in the next video, I'll probably get a new blade and we'll change the blade over and go from there. So I'll try and hold this with one hand. Scott, you did have a tripod over there. You could have just used that. That's okay. I'll figure it out. So we'll do one last like look around. So Zito brush. Oh, I got that 1200 watt motor with the cutting, as I've showed you before. Oh, is that the highest setting? Hang on. Oh, nice. Pretty seems slow. Actually, I'll we'll check that height real quick. So that was on that setting. Um. That's what, 40, 40 mil high, so just under two, two inch. All right, guys, well, yeah, hopefully you found that interesting and um, we'll see you in the next video. I'll probably get a new blade for it and uh, yeah, we'll see you next one. Have a great day or night, wherever you're watching.